I can't believe we just missed him. Yeah, I guess it's back to the drawing board for us. You know, guys, I thought he might be listed here in the phone book under Burdell, but I just can't find it. Yeah, he's not in the Olympic Speed book either. Man, dang it! Um, I thought, you know, it might be smart to whip out the 1927 yearbook, so that's what I've been doing. That's brilliant! Did you find him in there? No, I didn't, actually. Oh. Oh, but wait! I did find something. What's up? Someone signed the yearbook. It says, hey man, party at my pad was so rad. Can't wait to do it again. Always remember, the seventh floor at the library is one hopping place. Yours truly, George P. That's Bridell. why the seventh floor of the library is always locked off to all of campus. I better, I bet we need to figure out what's up there. It's been above our noses the whole time. <laughs> Busters, but you missed me again. Better luck on your next assignment. Foil again! Oh, we've been running around all day and all we got was one wild goose chase. Yeah, we interviewed some students, researched for hours, and even followed some hot tips. Yeah, but at least we visited his hopping pad earlier. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, we really actually never found the guy. No. Yeah, but you know, in the end, we really did find a lot of evidence that, you know, leads toward uh, the conclusion that the existence of George P. Burdell really is plausible. High five. 